pre-imagining a resilient and prosperous Comoros by 2030. There are several achievements that the UN country team in Comoros is proud of. I'm just going to name three. First one it was a swift and coordinated response to the COVID-19 pandemic. That response not only looked at the prevention strategies, but also the mitigation strategies. We're able to reduce the case fatality rate and also promote equal and free access to COVID-19 vaccines. The second um, achievements that I would like to highlight is the promotion of inclusive educational strategies in the Comoros. You know, the transforming, transforming Education Summit gave us an opportunity to organize national consultations that identified learning, learning, learning losses during the COVID-19 pandemic, but also during the Hurricane Kenneth, which hit the country two years prior to the COVID-19 pandemic. We now have strategies that are being implemented to ensure inclusive and access to quality education for both boys and girls. I mentioned girls because we are in a country where we still have a high rate of gender-based violence. So we want to make sure that girls are not left behind. Working with the UN agencies, we have the government have a legal framework to make sure that there is access to social, political, and economic opportunities for women and girls. The third achievement that I would like to highlight is the ratification of African Continental Free Trade Agreement. This agreement is to be the world largest free trade zone. Comoros being a small island developing state consumes 40%, imports 40% of what it consumes. Now, the trade is not with the African continent primarily. It is with the Middle East, with China, India, and all the way to Brazil. There's very little trade between neighboring countries such as Tanzania, Mozambique, Kenya, Madagascar. So this African continental free trade area, which was ratified in February, is going to show that there is a reduction in poverty and equal access to basic goods for the people of Comoros. We believe that with this African continental free trade agreement, we will progressively achieve the sustainable development goals by 2030. Thank you.